you played Charles Manson. Um, that that is a role that I have to ask you about. How did you get into character for such a you don't you don't look like a scary guy. So how did you get into that character? Well, I read the book. Obviously, I, I just researched as much as I can. They asked me if I wanted to meet him, but I said no because I didn't want him to uh, to manipulate me into thinking he was one way when he, you know, so I, I didn't want any part of that. Uh, and uh, I used my imagination. You know, the thing about acting is that you take a negative and make it a positive. You have to, because we're all justifying our minds. So... In that particular role, as in all roles, you take a negative, which is Manson, turn it into a positive. In other words, I'm right there wrong. That way, and I know who it is that's prosecute, trying to persecute me, prosecute me. I know two people. And so there's nothing I can do. So it relaxes you. And then um, I'm right there wrong. And in between that, you make choices. I don't know why I'm saying all this, but that that's what I did. It's a very important part of things, and I had a ball, to be honest with you. Is it one of your favorite roles? Uh, as an actor? Uh, yeah, it was very challenging. I, I, I've been fortunate enough to have a few, but yes, absolutely it was. What's your most memorable? A couple of pictures. Uh, the Stuntman with Peter O'Toole and myself. Uh, and uh, quite a few, uh, life force, I mean, but Ed Gein is a picture that I executive produced. And, uh, and I'm very proud of that performance. Uh, what makes you decide that you want to put your money behind a movie, you want to produce it? Well, I, when I produce, I don't really put money behind it, I executive produce, but... but um, what decides me about a role is, is what if I see something I, that interests me, it's because of, I want to know what makes this person tick. What all his colors or his, that make him who he is, but what makes him tick? It just is something, I, and I do a lot of research. I love prep. Prep is something that I just love. So you pretty much get right inside their head to figure out who well, they are. I, it takes a period of time, but of course I do. I, I, I have to, to to do all the different, to find all the different aspects or colors, as I call them, of what makes this human being, whoever he is, bad or good. And that is just prep. That is, that, that's my challenge. That's my, uh, my responsibility as an actor. It's not just to say words. Anybody can memorize words. I, I, uh, it's not a big deal. Then we cite those words back just like you memorize them. The words come. But where did they come from? That's now you've, you've got a huge resume. You've got a long list of things that we could spend all day going through. But uh, could you tell me what you're working on currently? I'm working on a film that I'm going to direct. Uh, it's called Barstow. It's called which, sorry? Barstow. Okay. And can you tell me what it's about? It's a character piece. It's, uh, it's not a shoot 'em up uh, It's a very layered film. But it's three losers that end up in Barstow and one finds a light at the end of the tunnel. But that's not really telling the story. It's uh, it's very something I've been trying to get the money for for a long time. And I have. And, and uh, it's, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a wonderful screenplay. It was written by my brother, actually. My brother, Philip. Rails back, who passed away, and he uh, he also wrote Stars Fell and Henrietta uh, that Clint Eastwood produced and I associated produced with him, and uh, Robert Duvall started it, 
it's a wonderful film called Stars Fell and Henrietta, and he also uh, wrote, uh, among other things, he wrote uh, Flash of Genius, which is about the inventor. Um, So, what's it like to take... He wrote this for for Scott Wilson and me, actually, Barstow. What's it like to take a piece of your brother's and turn it into a reality, make his dream come true? This is actually why it's very personal to me. And uh, we had many talks about this screenplay, about questions that I just had to know. And that's why I won't change anything, because he... He writes characters, and nobody sounds alike. It's all in the, it's, he had a gift for people, for characters. What, uh, it's a very personal script to me. Well, I'm glad to hear it. That means that more heart's going to go into it, and I'm sure it's going to turn into a great piece. I, um. I sure, God, I hope so. I'm sure it will. I mean, I just... Thank you so much for speaking about it. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and the week of the Oscars. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you, you too.